Our founding father, Sir Henry Royce, had a very insightful saying. Small things make perfection, but perfection is no small thing. Today at Rolls Royce, we truly feel the impact of his words, because creating simplicity is an extremely complex process. Never more so than when it came to the development of our new ghost. So, let me start from the beginning. In 2009, when we introduced the first Goodwood Ghost, we were responding to the requirements of a new and highly influential subset of our clients. Entrepreneurs, founders, and successful business leaders. Global citizens, male and female. They told us that they were seeking a different kind of a Rolls Royce, a less ostentatious, simpler Rolls Royce, which they could use as a business tool and for personal self-driving enjoyment. So we created our first ghost with these people in mind. And that car went on to meet our most ambitious expectations. Over the past 11 years, it has become one of the most successful Rolls Royces in history. Simple and distilled, but still, in every respect, a true Rolls Royce. And so, our design team set to work. They removed all unnecessary design embellishments. They deleted shut lines and they erased superfluous detail on both exterior and interior of new Ghost. Then our engineers completely reconfigured our Rolls Royce architecture our new ghost. In today's world, where many people are seeking increased simplicity, refinement and restraint, a post-opulent world, this Rolls Royce fits perfectly with the zeitgeist of our times. New ghost is the very essence of Rolls Royce. It whispers, it doesn't shout. It's less, but better. It's quite simply, ghost and nothing more. The design brief for Ghost came to the studio with hundreds of pages of our customers' insights. We kind of refined and distilled it down to this concept of what is post-opulence. And what do I mean? It's about refinement, about reduction, about simplicity. It was about something that doesn't shout at you, but it whispers. We were pursuing this minimalist aesthetic. That was our absolute objective. I'd say the front of Ghost really demonstrates our obsession with reducing any overt design. There's no additional flourishes. It's very reduced, but it keeps that charm that makes a Rolls Royce. It's in no way sterile. Our aluminium body structures the hand welded, which means you don't read any additional shut lines. Every car individually is finished symmetrically. That's what gives you this, this feeling of one canvas, one monolithic sculpture from front to rear. There's more possibilities here for bespoke personalization than ever before. The character of Ghost comes out, it still has the the natural presence you'd expect of a Rolls Royce, but it's, it's calmly confident. Part of this presence and assertiveness comes through the proportion. We've widened Ghost and you, you read this immediately because it's framed by these sharp vertical bow lines which meet this angular light graphic, so it's completely framing the face. We wanted Ghost to have this unique ambience because there's not lots of features, but it should have that character, that spirit should come through. We discovered we could achieve that with light, so actually Behind the veins of the grille is a subtle illumination. Actually, we fine-tuned the shapes and even brushed the back of every vein. You just get this subtle glow. 
removed any sense of anything ever being sterile. It should always have this, this warmth of a Rolls Royce, this gentle glow. We want to give you that subtle message that this is a car to be driven and a car to be driven in. There's no heavy focus on the rear door or the front door. If you, if you look at them, they're, they're almost equal. We're letting you know almost subconsciously when you walk up to the car that whether you sit in the front or the back of Ghost, you're going to have that, that great Rolls Royce experience. The rear of Ghost, it continues this yachting analogy. It's, it's resolved in a, a taper from all sides, and this is how we create that, that sense of motion. The focus point is the Rolls Royce rear lamp. This simple red square ring has become a tenet of modern Rolls Royce design. But here we've modernised it. It's actually leant forwards a little bit. It's, it's more three dimensional than ever before. The ghost interior is meant to be a detoxifying space. We realise our customers have very complicated lives, so they're not looking for a constant reminder of their success. They're not looking for busy details. They want a, a thinking space. We found trying to do this actually makes it incredibly complicated, but for our craftspeople, the challenges are even greater. There's no distraction, there's no complicated patterns in which to hide any error, so a single stitch line must be perfect. The wood, for example, that you touch, it's not hidden under lacquer, it's open pore, so you can, you can feel the veneer through it. And don't be fooled of what might be underneath there. This has got more technology in it than any other Rolls Royce we've ever built but it's only there when you demand it. The, the dashboard, for instance, the illuminated fascia, it's only there when requested. The effortless doors, there's not an additional button, it's the door handle. Everything is there to make it as calming and relaxing and uncomplicated as possible. Henry Royce said that small things make perfection, but the perfection is no small thing. And we discovered that really holds true today. This philosophy of post-opulence, this philosophy of refining to every detail is what should make it timeless. The brief we were given for the dynamic character of New Ghost was perfection in simplicity. But actually we knew that fulfilling that brief, to create that perfection, to create that simplicity from the customer view, was actually going to be incredibly complex. Regardless of the climate, the road conditions, whether you're driving or being chauffeured, it had to feel just right. Our challenge with Ghost was to distill the dynamic highlights from the complete portfolio of motor cars into one single product. This wouldn't have been possible without our Rolls-Royce space frame architecture. This is completely configurable, which allows us to set up the vehicle to deliver the exact result our client would expect on the road. So we're not asking a platform to do something it was never designed to do. We're looking at the trademark Rolls-Royce characteristics. So the effortless magic carpet ride, the dynamic sense of one endless gear, and new for Ghost, the reassuring all-wheel drive system. We created with our front suspension a world first. We introduced a new system which in simple terms dampens the dampers to remove as much energy transfer as we can from the road into the body of the vehicle, creating for the customer that sense that the road has almost been plain smooth in front of them. You experience the sensation of flight on land over all tarmac surfaces, wet or dry. In terms of the dynamic properties of New Ghost, we also responded directly to client feedback. Not only did they want to use their Ghost in more places, but they also wanted to spend more time behind the wheel to really experience our 571 PS twin turbo V12. Ghost benefits from our flag bearer system that proactively brings together a camera coupled together with sensors in the suspension assembly which scan the road ahead and make millions of calculations per second to actively adjust the suspension for the conditions that the client hasn't even yet experienced. Even our gearbox is linked to the car's global positioning system, scanning the road ahead to select the perfect gear for the corner you're about to encounter. 
Ghost had to feel nimble in the city as well as out on the open road. We decided the best way to achieve that was all-wheel steering. At low speeds, the rear axle turns in the opposite direction to the front wheels, creating a very tight turning circle. You don't have to worry about the vehicle's size. At higher speeds, the rear wheels turn with the front wheels to give you stability during higher speed lane changes. It's really a car that whispers, it doesn't shout. And we took that very literally when it came to the acoustics. We found that removing all noise can actually be quite disorientating and uncomfortable. We've invested a great deal of time and an obsessive level of attention to detail in creating one uniform tone inside the cabin. The seat frames, for example, resonated with a different frequency to the body. So we introduced damping units within the seats to bring them together into one single note. The large boot produced a frequency that you could just notice at motorway speeds. So we introduced a set of invisible ports within the parcel shelf to harmonize those frequencies. Even the drive shafts have been created so that any noise they make does not intrude on the meticulously tuned cabin. When we describe what we've done to bring our clients new ghost, we've been described as obsessives. We prefer perfectionists. 